TV boxing fans so I have here Antonio Atto who was here saw the fight live right with me I want to take his um, thoughts on the fight Matt how did you see the fight overall well um, I think it was a very very complicated fight for Isaac Dobe um, you, you you do realize that when we were coming into this bout there was a lot of talk about the reach disadvantage and that is something that has always bugged Isaac Dobe he's always found a way around it tonight there was a classic example of a reach disadvantage which his opponent utilized very greatly and uh, was able to exploit to his advantage. Um, for me, the only one I saw a little funny, which I'm not surprised about, is the space. I mean, the, uh, the vastness of, of the, uh, the points that were awarded to Rubaisi Ramirez. But that said and done, Rubaisi is a worthy champion. He's earned what he's done today. He was very, very tactical tonight. He was very, very technical tonight as well. He sat back. And you know, got got Jobe uh, on, on his most uh, you know on his most vulnerable uh, end. And over there, you cannot fault him, and you cannot uh, take anything away from him on that. So um, it's been a very very difficult fight. You you did see Jobe push and push and try to catch uh, Rubaisi. Uh, the best he could do was to catch Rubaisi with a dirty punch and then uh, Rubaisi uh, is able to recover quickly. Or Dubai is unable to follow up and follow up sometimes always gets the job done. And Rubaisi was very good in terms of the countering. He was fast and, and he kept a distance and that was what helped him to utilize his reach. So for me, it's been a very, very difficult night for Isaac Gui. There's no doubt about that. Uh, probably the same as you as I was watching the beginning, especially round five. I thought um, Dobe took it clean. At what point in of the night did you realize that this may go the way of Ramirez? Was there any point in the rounds that at some point? Well, round four, round eight, you know, somewhere around round 11, you know, I, I, I got the sense because you saw, you saw scenarios repeat themselves. The scenario where Isaac would go in, would attack genuinely, would, would try to work on, on the body with his, with his left and try to catch you know, uh, Ramirez with his big right. Ramirez will, will step out of it. Some of them caught him. But like I said, the follow-up did not come because it, this is a painstaking process. You know, this is not a very, very, this was not a very, very pacey bout. You saw Ramirez apply a lot more speed, especially in the times when he had to counter. And for me, that is what spells out uh, Ramirez's quality as a boxer and spells out his potential and what he can do uh, you know, in, you know, in, the, in the boxing world and in the division as well. So yes, a disappointing night for Isaac Dugbe indeed, but like I said, sometimes in situations like these, it's all about being technical and it's all about just uh, you know, sitting back and watching a bit. All right, uh, my final question. Obviously, we both heard one of the assistant coaches say they are not interested in a rematch. Um, Bias aside, being Ghanaian aside, do you think, looking at um, where Robizio Ramirez is in his career, do you think it's the right decision not to give um, Isaac a chance, another chance, even though Isaac wants it? You see, there is um, there are issues of contracts. I I will not immediately boast of knowing the details of the kind of contract that they signed. But realistically speaking, I do not see Ramirez's uh, team grant, you know, grant, uh, granting this kind of request because they are also looking forward. They would want to enjoy their space some more. They would want to uh, explore opportunities that could make them some more money. Remember, like I said earlier, Isaac Dugwe was the bigger earner tonight. And once you work hard and you get to this space, you have the belt. The belt is your bargaining bar and the belt is your marketing tool. And they wouldn't want to let go of it just like that. Remember that giving a rematch, in as much as may sound, they could win it again, is a big risk as well. Yep. It's a hundred percent yep. risk as much as it is, uh, you know, an Isaac opportunity. Go back and so, mistakes and well, so, 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 um, I see them moving on. But you see, that does not spell any doom for Isaac. There are many opportunities because you see, Isaac has traveled a very calculated journey in this division. I spoke to uh, Bob Aram yesterday, and Bob Aram, uh, you know, likes Isaac Dobe, and that is where uh, every boxer steps up. You know, you step up from that point where the system likes you, they like your brand, and they like you, they like to be associated with you. So, I mean, 
once he's still working with with uh, the brand, I mean, he's still in the in the stables. Uh, Robesi Ramirez is in the stables, the top ranked stables. Anything can happen, but he is going to get fights. There's no doubt about that. He's going to get fights. What it is is that um, in terms of getting a world title opportunity like this, it probably may take some time. But what is important is that he goes back and reflects again and and, and reorganizes and, and comes back. That's all this this is about. All right, thank you, Nathaniel. My Obviously, pleasure. they want us to get out of here with the lights off. We do <laughs> this pleasure. again. Thank you. Uh.